What's up, everybody? Uh, got a few things here uh, that I want to kind of go over. Uh, there was an article that came out, which is 10 Things No DM Should Ever Do. Uh, this is from CBR.com. Let me go ahead and bring that up here. Uh, and let's see if I can make it a little bit bigger here. Uh, from Jared King, uh, from C once again from CBR.com. I'll go ahead and link the uh, article in there uh, down at the bottom. And uh, basically, uh, I'll kind of go over this. Uh, this kind of popped up on my feed uh, today, and I thought, okay, well, we'll kind of look at it. Uh, the role of the Dungeon Master in Dungeons & Dragons is an important one and is often integral in the game of D&D. The work DMs put in behind the scenes goes a long way towards creating fun in the game uh, that their players are experiencing. Uh, so uh, we're looking at as part of their duties. Some of these I am going to agree with, some of them I will not, and I will go into more detail uh, when I hit them. This one I absolutely agree with. Uh, take on the DM versus the player mentality. It is not a, about the DM versus them. It is about the DM actually providing the story, providing the vehicle in order for them to uh, be able to, uh, you know, for them to flourish in. Uh, you know, at its core, D&D is a cooperative game uh, between friends, uh, yet it's possible to develop, develop a competitive or antagonistic mindset in the heat of combat, <clears throat> or when the DM carefully laid plans suddenly go awry. Uh, the incredibly important uh, for the D DMs to avoid this uh, so it doesn't develop, it will ruin the game. I have seen this firsthand. It will ruin the game. Uh, this one I do not agree with. Do not be afraid to ask the player's opinion on situations. This one I don't think I'm going to agree with at all. Now, you can ask them after the fact, how are you enjoying the story? How is it wrapping up for you? Just to make sure, especially if you're running your own, I have no issue with that because you just kind of want to gauge or if at least are they having fun? Uh, but uh, there is a perception that DMs uh, is the unquestionable arbitrator of everything in the game, but this bullshit. The DM is the is is God at the table, period. So this I do not agree with. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I'm not even gonna bother going. Rewarding uh, players take away their agency. The if you're running a module and it says the module is this is how 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 it's gonna go. You know it can get boring for a player. I'm going to use a Pathfinder module, Second Darkness, because in the end of that, it should literally rinse and repeat on what you're doing all the way through. It is a railroad. It was not fun. But the big thing is, is that, you know, taking away player agency, I don't believe there is player agency to begin with. Uh, you know, that's when you talk about it after the fact. Are you enjoying the game? What aspects are you not? Because then at the next session, you can make tweaks at that point. To me, that's not necessarily player agency. That is... Take you know constructive criticism on how the story is unfolding. There, there's two different ways to look at it. Uh, take away players' uh, belonging belongings for plot hooks. I disagree with this also because you know, especially like if someone has a sword that is you know a a sword that was their father's or you know their grandfather's even. This makes a great hook. If it gets stolen in the night, well, you know what? We've got to go get that heirloom sword back. Uh, it's not necessary, necessarily you know, to that point, but you can have somebody come in, steal something out of the loot that they've just gotten out of the out of the out of the dungeon they just came out of. Uh, 
out of the force dungeon they just came out of. Uh, you know, and, and, and you know, you can definitely do that. Uh, try to memorize every rule. See, this is kind of one of those 50-50 type things. You, you can't memorize everything. I'm sorry, you can't. But what you can do is make your make your 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 judgment and then as a DM have a standing rule is you'll if you're not sure on the actual rule for it, you're gonna make a call and then look it up after the game. That is the easiest way to get around this one because once again, you're the dungeon master, you're the DM, you're the person running the game, you're the ultimate arbitrator of what happens in that game. Period. So uh, take on too many roles within the group. Uh, being the DM uh, is highly rewarding, but it can be difficult as well. The amount of time spent preparing for sessions. Okay, consider how much work DM already does. They should not hesitate to share some extra burdens with the group. Have something else to handle, coordination, planning, to save the DM. Yeah, see, I don't know. They should figure out where they're going to get their food. Where, you know, does everybody have a bedroll? Uh, what your right watch rotations are going to be. Things like that. That, you know, I, I'll agree that that should be taken on by the players. That is their responsibility. Uh, so it's kind of like, you know, one of those things, you know, yeah. Uh, think of ways to nullify players' abilities. Yes. I mean, I don't go out of the way to do it, but if there's a way to do it, you know, it, they shouldn't be walking through the park, you know, skipping through, through, through the dungeon going flick, flick, and killing everything. No, that's not what this is for. This is, that's not part of the game. Uh, to basically kind of throw it up there, you're playing it wrong. You know the, you know you should be able to, uh, you know if 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 there's you know if there if you need it, it all depends on what the CR is. If the players have something that overstepped the balance. That changes, you know, and I talk, you know, CR. I'm more of a 3-5 guy. 3-5 and Pathfinder. So, you know, you're looking at the CR of it, and you know what the CR of the party is. I usually go a little bit above the CR of what the party, just for the simple fact of, depending on what it is, it should not be a walk in the park for them. It is a slog. It is not me against them. But I want it to be a challenge. I don't want them to go in and go, eh, stab, and then they're done. You know, it's like they they, they don't have fun that way. Get too invested in a particular NPC. I kind of agree to this. Just for the simple fact of, you know, the main fit fall, <clears throat> uh, getting the heroes of the you know, and that's not always the case either. They're not always heroes of the story. They could be the martyrs of the story, depending on how the dice roll. Because, you know, shit happens. And and basically that that's what it is. Shit happens. It is what it is. Uh Uh, well, these NPCs can add a lot to the story. They should rarely outshine the player characters. Well, you know, sometimes, though, that it also comes, you know, shit happens. If a roll happens and they knock them on their butt, they knock them on their butt. I mean, if you've got a, a cleric who's going, you know, if it's a large city, they have a bishop or something equivalent there, and they get snotty in the, and they knock them on their butt for it, then, yes, that's exactly what it should be. Ignore the feelings of the players. Like I said before, the feelings of the players you get after the fact. 
and then you will adjust. You know, you're not going to do it on the fly. I'll, I'll just leave it at that. Uh, taking out personal frustrations on the characters, this I agree with. You do not do this. You do not take out your personal frustrations. Uh, even if you have someone who, you know, has been going, you know, every time you turn around, oh, well, you know, Johnny, you know, Johnny, Johnny's had an issue with Dan. Dan's been really snotty about it. He's getting toxic. You know, you know, the, uh, you know, you know, fuck off a bridge, Dan, you know, type thing. You know, you don't do that with, with how you are as a DM. So, uh the uh that that's basically kind of my two cents with this uh so once again i will link uh this article down below and uh everybody and uh, thanks for listening to me ran a little bit i'll catch you next time